a Western New York mom having problems getting her unemployment payments had to make a tough choice about her son's living arrangements. To On Your Sides, Kelly Dudzik explains how issues with unemployment are impacting families. Kate, today I talked with Jody Still. She's unemployed and she still hasn't gotten any of her benefits, so she made the decision to send her son to Colorado to live with his dad. Jody is an artist and a substitute teacher for Williamsville schools. With distance learning happening and art shows canceled, she's been waiting for her first unemployment check since March. Her son Noah is 19 and he is on the autism spectrum. With money running out, Jody made the tough decision to have Noah live with his father until her financial situation gets better. We just decided that it was better for him to go out there. His, his father's retired military and so he has a set income. And um, it was pretty much, uh, he needs structure. And so uh, we just, we, we decided to, to go ahead and, and let him go out there. And so this past weekend, I just had to drive him to St. Louis. His father came from Colorado and then we handed him off. I handed him off and let him go, let him go. So did you ever think you'd have to make a decision like that? No, not at all. I mean, um, uh, I mean, he, he certainly has been with his father before, back and forth, but um, not under these circumstances. I mean, he's on a pretty strict diet. You know, we try to keep him no sugar and, and gluten-free and different things. And, and when you don't know, you know, where, how you're going to be able to buy groceries and, and things like that, you just... You know, I'm living on mac and cheese. I can't feed him that. And and uh, so, yeah, so we made we made that decision that, and I, I let him go out there. It was very difficult. So Jody still doesn't know when her son will be able to move back here. Coming up new first at five tonight, you'll hear from two lawmakers about what needs to be done to fix this situation and why one of them says people just need to be patient. In Buffalo, Kelly Dudzik, Channel 2 News.